Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the criminal justice system in the United States. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the criminal justice system in the United States, uh, Dr. Christopher Wakoji. Uh, Dr. Wakoji is a member of the Department of Criminal Justice at Tennessee State University. And he is also a uh, person involved with the graduate faculty uh, at Tennessee State University. And Dr. Wakoji, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Well, <clears throat> first of all, uh, let me use this uh, opportunity to thank you for inviting me to your show. Very good. Uh, Dr. Wakoji, you know I think that we've uh, talked about uh, crime in the United States and criminal, uh, the criminal justice system on uh, other occasions, and we want to do that today. We want to uh, have you to give us an overview of what uh, we mean when we talk about the criminal justice system in the United States. But before we do that, let's talk about Dr. Christopher Wakoji. Let's have you to give us some information about your education, <laughs> about your background, and some of the things that were important in leading you to uh, the uh, uh, position that you now hold at Tennessee State University on uh, the faculty there as a member of the Criminal Justice Department. Well, um, <clears throat> to begin with, uh, I'd like to use this moment also to, uh, I know your audience will be immediately uh, wanting to hear from me. Uh, I have to also uh, thank them for listening. But before I get into uh, further discussion, let me use this opportunity also to introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Christopher Wakoji. I'm from Nigeria. Um, I, before I came to the United States, I was a police officer, a substantive police officer in Nigeria to the rank of assistant superintendent of police. Uh, having served in Nigeria for seven years, I decided that I have to pursue an academic, uh, you know, training in the field of policing. Um, having arrived in the United States in 1981, I began my undergraduate, uh, you know, degree at Southern University, Baton Rouge, yeah. where I received my bachelor's uh, degree. And after which I I uh, moved to uh, Grambling State, where I did my Master of Science degree in criminal justice. Uh, also, my PhD, I completed my PhD work at uh, Howard University uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, while pursuing my, my PhD, I, I did work for D.C. Department of Corrections mm -hmm. for six years as a chief case manager with uh, Department of Corrections, Lawton, Virginia. Uh, my emphasis has always been in policing and general area in uh, criminal justice. So it's a pleasure to be here. Very good. You know, when we talk about the criminal justice system uh, in the United States, uh, exactly what do we mean, uh, Dr. Wakoji, when we uh, simply talk about criminal justice? What, what are we saying uh, uh, in reference to that as a title? Well, when we talk about criminal justice as a system, we are simply talking about the involvement of the private sector here. We're talking about neighborhoods. We're mm -hmm. talking about families. Mm -hmm. We're talking about industries. And then in relationship to the governmental response here, that is the police, the courts, and the corrections. Mm -hmm. And so that is how you find the level of interaction. So by this, we mean that uh, it is the private sector, the community, in relationship to police, mm -hmm. courts, and correction. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, what we're talking about here is simply the process okay. by which an accused person enters into the system and the process by which he exits. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's look at uh, the beginning of that process uh, by uh, breaking that down and talking about crime right. uh, in America. <clears throat> let's uh, uh, have you to give us some in information about crime. And I, I, mean, I know that uh, to say crime, that's a large area, you see. But let's allow you to uh, reduce that and to identify the areas in which you're talking about. Because I think that everybody is familiar with the fact that there's an increase in crime, and all of the reports uh, seem to indicate that. But exactly what is the status of crime in America at this particular point? Well, at this particular point, uh, when we're talking about crime, I think every individual in America here is a victim of that. 
uh, you are one way or the other involved or affected by these social malaise. Mm -hmm. I, I use the word social malaise because it's a social issue here that affects the family, that affects government, mm -hmm. that affects the community, mm -hmm. and also it's a cross-cultural thing. Uh, you find that in Britain, Africa, um, and other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, uh, crime in America uh, has increased to an exponential rate. Mm -hmm. uh, an exponential in the sense that when you look at the historical development here, uh, uh, quite generally speaking, crime <coughs> increased exponentially beginning mm -hmm. from the 1933. Mm -hmm. 1933 moved into 1972. During this period, during this historical development, what we saw here is a fast increase in crime. Mm -hmm. But as we pro progress in our discussion, I will explain to you some of those variables that contributed to this exponential increase. Mm -hmm. Well, now, now, what are some, uh, uh, since we are talking about that area, what are some of the things, uh, because I think most of the time that we hear reports about crime, we hear that uh, there's some connection between uh, the drug question and crime. Yet, uh, in your outline, you gave that period between 1933 and the 1970s as an increase. Uh, did the drug question play that much of a, a, a problem <coughs> during that period? Or is the drugs a relatively recent uh, variable in the crime question of what? Not at all. It has been a very pervasive uh, issue here in this country. When you look at a time in terms of historical development, during the 1960s, I think uh, this was a period in the area of social sciences called the psychedelic period. Mm -hmm. During that period, uh, you and I and others will agree that it was a period of civil rights. Yeah. Yeah. A group of individuals questioning for what is right and what is just and what is unjust here. And during that period, a group of individuals uh, engaged themselves in some sort of pharmacological substance as a solace, as a means to counter that experience. But uh, moving, along, moving along from 19, uh, f within this period of 1960 mm -hmm. to 1972, we saw an increase. But moving from 1972 to the period of 1980s, there was a slight shift here mm -hmm. as a result of the fact that the government did engage in some social issues mm -hmm. that helped neutralize some of those um, um, uh, diversity that we had during the psychedelic period. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so uh, overall you can trace some kind of development in which uh, substance abuse or drugs, whether you talk about psychedelic uh, uh, use or whether you talk about uh, cocaine or heroin and et cetera, all of this indicated an increase at, at some particular points in, in the experience. Is that Correct. what we said? Correct. You know, when, when, uh, in dealing with crime, uh, what do you uh, find when, when we talk about, uh, and especially uh, African Americans in the uh, criminal justice system, when we talk about the endangered African American or the endangered African American male, uh, and we talk about imprisonment and incarceration and all of those things that you are familiar with after having been involved in uh, that aspect of the criminal justice system. And I say that all because we've got about a, a minute uh, before we come to our first commercial break. And what I wanted to do was to uh, sort of lay the foundation for you to uh, discuss uh, the criminal justice system, because we do understand that, uh, as you indicated earlier, that uh, even during your uh, graduate work, you were deeply involved in the uh, criminal justice policing Correct. aspect of that. And I think that a large number of our, uh, of our listeners would certainly like to know uh, more about that, in addition to uh, knowing something about uh, the prison system and some of the things that uh, you've been involved in. And, and, and we didn't mean to uh, introduce this subject too soon because uh, uh, one thing we wanted to do was to make sure that you had, you will have enough information to uh, talk about it. And that is why uh, we're sort of uh, taking time Correct. to move into that area so that when we come back from our first commercial break, we can start fresh and you will have uh, eight or 10 minutes simply to talk about the prison system. And we'll be back with you uh, following this uh, commercial break.